Welcome. In this challenge, your job is to get the cat to glide across the screen like this. And you'll be using the glide block. If you think you can do this, feel free to jump on and to scratch and start working on it. However, if you want to learn about the behind the scenes and how scratch works with the coordinate grid, stay on for some hints. All right. I'm going to start a new project and give you a hint about the coordinate grid and how the glide lock works. So I'm going to do a new project and I'm going to drag this glide box over. And let's look at this glide block. It has three numbers here that you can change. They glide one second. We're not going to worry about this in this challenge. And the X and the Y. So the X and the Y control the position of the cat on the screen. If you see down here, there's an X and a Y here, and the cat right now is at zero, zero. If I move the cat down, you'll notice that the Y mostly changes. The X changed a little bit as well because I wasn't exactly accurate because Y controls the up and down movement. The X is controlled the side to side. And that's the basics of XY works. Because as I said, there's a coordinate grid behind the screen and you can pop that up in scratch so you can see it, what it actually looks like. And I'm gonna do that right now by changing the background on the stage. Go back to the script. So now if I say glide X zero Y zero, that's the center of the screen right here. Now, if I want to glide to this point, I look on the X axis and that's a hundred across and a hundred up. So if I say glide to X 100, Y 100 and click on this block, it'll glide there. And you notice it glides to the center of the cat. You can control where the location of your sprite is, which is really useful in further games. That'll be the next hint. So in summary, this coordinate grid allows you to send the cat or any sprite anywhere in the screen extremely accurately. Now, this will still work if the coordinate grid is not showing. So I'm gonna hide this coordinate grid. Go back here and I'm gonna say glide one second to 100, 100 again. I'm clicking on it and you notice it's yellow which is running, but nothing happened. That's because I'm already at 100, 100. So I have to move it somewhere else. And if I click on it, it will drag back there. Now, remember in this challenge, your job is to glide across the screen. So the easiest way to figure this out is to drag the cat to the location you want it to glide. Then once there, you can look at the X, Y and put it in here. You'll also notice over here, it automatically updates. So I could just drag in a new block and it would get me to the right numbers. Now I'm gonna drag this cat back and watch it. And I click on it, it should glide across the screen. But you notice it did it at a diagonal. Why? Well, when I dragged it back here, I dragged it to Y27, not Y negative 19. If I just want it to move horizontally back and forth and not up and down for a diagonal, I have to make sure my beginning Y is the same as my ending Y. So I can type a number in here and I'm gonna type negative 19. And now it will glide straight across. Remember, you can always add a one green flag clicked here to start the whole thing. So if I click on it, it doesn't work because it's already there. I have to move it back. So I'm gonna move it back. Make sure this is negative 19. and click flag works. Okay, you have all the information on how to do this challenge yourself now. But if you want to learn a little extra hint, stay on and I'll tell you about the center of the cat that I promised you earlier. So I'm gonna put the coordinate grid back up and I'm gonna go back to 100, 100. As I said, the center of the cat does that. What if I wanted it to be located at the top of this here? Well, if I go to costumes 
and I select everything, I start dragging, you'll see this target in the middle. If I put that target up in the middle here, you'll see on the right, it's mean the cat jumps so that 100 100 is where the ear is. This can be very useful later on in the challenges when you're making your own game. All right, good luck and keep on scratching.